How we experience emotion that mechanism is given uh, in the Natya Shastra and that is elaborated in many other texts. For rasas to get expressed, you need a cause that cause is called vibhav. That vibhav result into certain expression, certain symptom. For example, if joke uh, is a vibhav or a cause, uh, laughter or movement of shoulder, these are anubhavas, these are the symptoms. And then there are sanchari bhavas as well, because the laughter can have some finer emotions, emotions of vyang, emotions of helplessness or emotions of real joy. There can be different uh, flavors, different shades of hasya. And associated to the different shades, there are various emotions, these are called sanchari bhav. And combination of vibhav, anubhav and sanchari bhav result into sanyog and for rasa to get expressed in life in day to day moments, we need to have that sanyog. So, it is through the sanyog bhavas that rasas are manifest. And our ability to experience different emotions and express those appropriately, that is the essence of emotional intelligence. And what can help us to manage emotions, what can help us to decide what is the limit for me to experience a particular rasa in a situation, that decision is done by buddhi, the intellect. So, you might recall we have discussed this chariot model of human self, which is taken from the Kathopanishad. It clearly says that senses are like horses of chariot, reen is the man, the reen with which we control the uh, reen with which a charioteer and the charioteer who is holding the reen is intellect the self, the real self, the Atman is the one which is standing, which is giving direction to the charioteer. Charioteer is like intellect, when charioteer is smart, it can hold man in some way, which can direct the horses of senses to the desirable directions. How we can do that? What are the processes, which can help the charioteer to give right direction to the uh, horses. What is how to strengthen the rein which yoga has many interventions for that. So, let us look at how yoga helps in gaining emotional balance. In fact, all eight angas, ashtang we say the appendages or limbs all eight limbs help us in gaining the emotional balance in their unique ways. Yam and Niyam. Yam is the moral instruction and Niyam is the self purification process. We have already have a detailed discussion about the Yam Niyam earlier. Yam set the boundary conditions, Ahinsa, Satya, Aparigraha, Asteya, Brahmacharya, these five yamas, which essentially are the core principle with which this life, this existence operates, this existence works only because of these five yamas, uh, that set the boundary condition. Once the boundary conditions are set, our self management boundaries are also set and our self management boundary are the first inherent things, because for all self management or career management, we need to identify what is non negotiable in my disposition. 
what is something which I am not going to compromise, about which I am not going to negotiate, about which I am not going to try out things. Yamas give those non-negotiables. So, lot of emotions are naturally get under control. Uh, niyamas are the ways for us to improve further. Tap, Ishwar Pranidhan, Swadhyay, Shauj is cleansing, Santosh is contentment, Ishwar Pranidhan is surrender to the universal order. These are the ways of maintaining and cleansing our inner conditions. These are not only related to the mind inner conditions, these are not related, related to cleansing of body and that helps uh, preparing our inner ambience to manage our emotions. Asana, asana is a psychosomatic alignment with brain wave coherence in a very precise definition we can uh, say this about asanas. Asanas brings coherence in brain waves, these are the things coming out in several studies. Asanas lower the stress hormones and release happy hormones and in this way asana can help in controlling emotional balance. Pranayam, we had a complete session on pranayam as well which is about relaxation and regulation through breathing. We looked at how fascinating this act of breathing is, it is voluntary act, but it is necessary act. This is what connects our sympathetic and parasympathetic system and whole uh, process of managing self is about managing the balance of sympathetic and parasympathetic system. So, breathing which is the core act, act or which is the core seat of pranayam can help in balancing this uh, system and in this process it helps to gain and maintain emotional balance. Pratyahar, prat sense organs or becoming inward focus in terms of our senses. We looked at in the pratyahar session as there are bahe indris means the senses which look at outward, so we have intrinsic indris intrinsic senses. Because of the intrinsic senses, we are able to watch or uh, listen things in dreams, even when our eyes are closed. Uh, we may not be in the, in the sleep, in the dreaming phase, we may not be able to listen something which is going on outside, but we can listen something which is, which we are seeing, which, which is coming in our dream. So, there are intrinsic indries. Uh, closing the outer indries and awakening or just focusing on the intrinsic indries, that is the essence of pratyahar. And pratyahar uh, is purposely stepping back uh, our right mode of consciousness and naturally that helps in gaining emotional balance. How it works? We looked at that whole mechanism in the last session, dhyan that is the quieting of mind. This is a great space for the emergence of intelligence. When, uh, when the external senses are not processed and internal, internal senses are still alert, in that state the dhyan happens and when dhyan happens emotional balance naturally comes to our life. Samadhi, we cannot discuss it in great detail about samadhi because it is much deeper experience. Nonetheless, we can say it is transcendent of emotions and individualized cognition. We become uh, available to the universal intelligence in samadhi, the systemic intelligence in samadhi we become aware of. So, we can look at all steps of yoga, all appendages or limbs of yoga helps in gaining and maintaining emotional balance.